When I first saw the advert online, I did immediately think of Dad. Um, it's probably the main connection I made. Um, but when I did read the description in the advertisement, um, it really solidified my belief that he was perfect for the, um, the award. My name's Sarah Curran. I nominated my dad, Stephen, um, and he won the 2020 Victorian Father of the Year. So Dad has always been in the forefront of our lives. Um, he is a person that's very giving. He doesn't like to receive very much. Um, and I thought that his story, while it isn't always happy, um, he's come out on the better end of it. When I received the nomination that I'd been nominated for Victorian Father of the Year, it was a time when Julie had passed away and I really had to be stand up for the kids um, to make sure that we were a family. I have three beautiful kids. I have my Sarah, which is my daughter, uh, my younger son, which is Matthew, and Benjamin, which is in a wheelchair. The, the condition he has is with spina bifida, which means he's paralysed and waist down, so he has no feeling. Julie was there all the time with him. I was a full-time worker. And then I became a full-time worker with a full-time family too. And with Benjamin, he's a great son, but he needs care on the weekends, during the afternoon. So I just had to be, be there for the three of them, and which eventually worked out because they have three great kids. Mum passed away in 2019, um, and that was very hard on everybody, but most specifically Dad, because I do believe that they were best friends. Um, and he obviously had to take on more responsibility um, and him having to work a full-time job and then coming home to essentially work another full-time job looking after Ben um, was something that I don't think anyone should have to experience um, but his strength and his perseverance in those times um, was definitely something that got me and my brothers through. The impact we received the award was they just said I was so proud that um, my daughter and my sons had nominated me for Victorian Father of the Year for 2020. I've never been so high in my life. Because yeah, they said, you know, it's that the feeling that you've been recognised for what you have done, which I still, if I wasn't recognised for Father of the Year, I would still do. When I did find out that Dad had won the 2020 award, as I said, I was ecstatic. Um, I couldn't stop telling all of our friends and family. Um, and his award did sit on our mantelpiece for probably a good two years. Um, we've just migrated to the cupboard where everyone sees it on the way in. DNA doesn't make a father, actually. A father figure is a person that cares for any child. If you're thinking of nominating someone for Victorian Father of the Year, definitely. They'll be that honoured that you have nominated for Victorian Father of the Year because win or lose, they're going to know that you respect them for what they've been doing as a father.